What's up my peeps? This is d -Rod. I'm here again with another video for you guys. This time I got the Mighty Thor. The 80 years of Marvel Thor. The only downside to this action figure is that it only has two accessories, which is the hammer and an extra hand. But the hammer does have the engravings of Odin when he enchants it with the words that says, uh, whoever holds this hammer, if be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the classic Thor in here, he looks pretty buffed up. And we see in the back of it, it has a little description of who Thor is and a little artwork from the comics as well. And on this side, we have again, Thor and the same artwork here. Of course, made by Hasbro for ages four and up. So let's go ahead and open it. Just looking at Thor right out of the box, he looks freaking sick. I like him. He looks, like I said, he looks pretty beefed up uh, you can straight up tell that he is one of the strongest Avengers look at these biceps he has going on in here these things are huge and that hand he has on his grip you can tell the grip on his hands is also huge which I like how they sculpted him uh, resembling being one of the most strongest Avenger there is look at the veins running through his muscles pretty amazing and like I said it has uh, the hammer meow meow and right there has the engraving it says whoever holds this hammer if be worthy shall possess the power of thor pretty awesome sculpted right very detailed i like how the handle is i like how the the handle from the wrist is so he could you know spin it and fly away and of course this is his extra hand that he has on there so as we look at thor the son of odin or like Hulk likes to call him Goldilocks. Uh, he looks pretty amazing. Uh, his hair, very nice detailed, very uh, realistic as well. Coming in from the front and going into the back. Uh, his cape, it's his cape is glued or it's stuck in there between. So you can't take off the cape, but you can move it uh, from side to side. But if you do it too much, uh, I, I it might come off from here. Uh, by doing it too much, when the when you fold the plastic too much, it starts. Uh, getting bendy and you see that little white line is going to start popping up here that means it's going to start getting all floppy and you'll be able to rip it out easier and you see we have the little circles here that uh, go down in size as it goes down from his uh, shirt and we got his the Thor belt in there with the T it looks pretty amazing his muscles wow look at the muscle on his legs he doesn't skip leg day I like the cape, how it, bring, how it has the shadows going on in there and the effect of the, of the wrinkles of the cape in there. Pretty amazing. Uh, the only thing I, I, I think is that the cape is a little bit too heavy. So when you're trying to uh, pose him up, he's gonna fall or not. <laughs> His cape is, is pretty heavy. So once you're posing him, be careful because it might get in the way, it might bring him back. And then we go here to his knees. You see he has his uh, his knee pat there all his boots are rolled up his shoes and the bad thing of this store is that you can uh you can't twist his head because of his cape and because of the hair they get in the way so you can barely move it from side to side uh up and down it's a little bit no noticeable uh, and you have the helmet wings in there as well they move back i know i've seen I've seen other Thors where uh, the wings are spread out, but the most, the more classic Thor has them like this. Pretty cool. I like the helmet. I also wish that the helmet would, would be able to, you know, come off, um, but it's not. And like I said, the, his hands are detachable. And when you detach the hands, be careful because the wrists do come, the wristbands do come out. So uh, that's on both sides. So if you're gonna be um, swapping hands with a different Thor you have, just be careful on that. And we're gonna put this hand. This is the extra hand, the fist hand that comes in, and this is the open grip hand, which we're gonna put the hammer in it, and boom, you have Thor. So as we can see right there, he looks pretty dope. Okay, so his uh, points of articulation, his shoulders move around. He has those, he has those bicep movement. He has the, the double jointed so, uh, soldiers. He has the double jointed show, uh, elbows. Uh, he has a wrist movement on this hand. This wrist movement is not like this, but side to side. 
So you'll be having, as you can see right there, it's on his wrist movement, it's on the side. So you'll be able to bring it down. And on this side, it's on the normal side. Boom. So then you have this diaphragm that which you're able to move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And of course, he turns around from his waist. He has those jointed uh, legs, his thigh movement in there. And then he has his knees, which his knees do go really far back. Uh, they almost touch his butt. Pretty flexible for it. That's it for all the uh, points of articulation that he has. The bad thing is that his head cannot move because this restricts his head from moving a lot. But other than that, tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this Thor action figure? Do you guys like it? Are you guys planning on getting it? Have you guys gotten it? Let me know in the comments below. I would have liked for this Thor to have like a little lightning effect, just like, um, like Iron Man had the repulsors and his uh, little blasters. I do enjoy this Thor figure because it's the classic Thor and it resembles a lot from the comics. Pretty beefed up Thor. Um, I like them. So I'm adding them to my collection and I recommend them. So we've reached the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.